Saturday will mark the 50th anniversary of Neil Armstrong's historic walk on the moon. A dozen astronauts followed Armstrong, the last in 1972. And as America prepares to return to the moon, we're asking why. Here's our why guy. It's the most famous two hour stroll in the history of our country. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin opened our eyes to a whole new world with their walk across the sea of tranquility. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It's been 47 years since an American astronaut last visited the moon. NASA is planning a return in 2024. It made us wonder why it's been so long and why scientists are now eager to go back to the moon. The Apollo missions helped give scientists a better understanding of the composition and history of the moon. A spokesperson for NASA says the nation's priorities shifted after that. NASA launched a two-story laboratory that orbited the Earth to, among other things, test man's ability to work in space for long periods of time. The U.S. relied on robots to continue exploring the moon. That led to the discovery of ice on areas of the moon's surface. Water ice is life support. It's air to breathe. It's water to drink. It's also rocket propellant. Scientists view that discovery as a resource that can be used by astronauts who return to the moon, where they plan to stay for long periods of time. Working with private industries, NASA scientists plan to construct an encampment near the south pole of the moon. In NASA's words, astronauts will learn the skills needed to live and work on another world. From there, the plan is to begin missions to Mars. By the way, Russia is planning to send that country's first man to the moon by 2030. And if you have a question for Jerry Carnes, our Why Guy, send it over on Facebook, Twitter, or email.